Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file and they're following along with one of my videos and they're getting this weird contour shape. So I thought I'd show them or maybe hopefully show them. So what I would do in a case like this, see all the white, Let's with it selected, let's take the crop tool and let's crop out the majority of that white. Just make sure you get all of his head and everything. And then go crop. And then just kind of look at it. Make sure you got everything. Let's uh, move this one out of the way. So what you're going to do now is make a copy of it and move it over. We're going to go to bitmap trace outline trace clip art. It does it pretty quick. And then say OK and then move that over. And we'll look at it. And here's the problem. The shoe, um, even though you know this is the bitmap, so the trace does really good. So my suggestion is to left click, right click on the outline, and let's fix those spots. So I don't know what they draw in. They draw in hairline in black. But that doesn't really matter. I'm going to take the three point curve line. And I'm just going to put it right there. I'm going to give a little bit of a curve. And then right here, you can see that uh, part of his shoe is kind of the same thing. So let's just, let's take the curve line and put it to there. Now that could give us problems. So let's take the virtual segment delete key and delete it. I'm thinking there was one more spot right here on his, basically his shirt that really doesn't need to be there. So what I'm going to do is, You've got to go up to arrange and ungroup it and then take the shape tool and just, let's just delete those two nodes. And you can actually select those two and right click, turn them into a line and you see that way. And well, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to get the smoothing tool and just kind of smooth that out a little bit. And then just kind of look over it. I think everything else is okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a rectangle and we're going to take the smart fill tool and we're going to fill in that shape and then move it over. And remember, I said move, but I haven't moved anything. I've nudged it. Um, that little bit of part of this shirt might cause his problem. Maybe his thumb. Yeah. So let's just fix that real quick and do it again. Let's, uh, because we're working on the outside, all we have to do is just kind of do this. And then I would just take my shape tool again. We've already got it unlocked or ungrouped, so it, it'll work. And then just take these two nodes and right click and turn them into a line. Eh. Well, that doesn't matter. We're just working with the outside. So let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I don't really like it. Let's take, so everything you can make smoother, let's just go from there to there and just kind of smooth that out a little bit. Now we still got our rectangle. So let's take the smart fill tool and fill that in. And we have a much better item. So now I'm going to fill it in with black. I'm going to nudge it over to my original. And I am going to <clears throat> select both of them and go up to the intersect tool and intersect it. So now I have that little boy and the shoe's better. Uh, there's no pointed lines. <clears throat> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rectangle tool, fill that in with black, move that over, fill that in with black, move that over, left click, right click, and go up to effects and contour, we're gonna to contour to the outside just 0 0.03, she just wants a little bit of a cut line, one step. Now, you've got to uh, break that contour apart. And a lot of times you have to select it all, go up to object, break the contour apart. And if you grab the inside, it moved the black. And then just take this over to get rid of our rectangle. And now you have a cut line with pretty smooth lines. You know, we could have fixed that shirt and you could still 
Um, you know, you don't have to go with the, uh, you could actually fix that contour line just a little bit. It's not going to matter on the shirt, maybe his thumb. Just to give you a better cut line. I know nothing about, I think this is for vinyl cutting or something. But if you look, we have a cut line. Hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.